I feel like I actually did kind of good this year. I don't think that I bought as many items as I have been in the past couple of years. So yay me! <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe that it's the end of the year. I feel like 2021 just started. I kind of feel like it's still 2020. Like, I'm so confused. How is it already 2022? My baby is coming next year. I just... I don't understand time anymore. But as per usual with the end of the year, I really like to go back and look at everything that I've bought and really like evaluate all my purchases. There's always purchases that I was really excited about, you know, when I bought them, but then as the year has progressed, I haven't really, you know, used them or anything. And then there are the things that are really like the MVP all-stars of the purchases that I've made this year that I have been using a lot. So I thought we'd start off with positive first and really talk about all of the purchases that I think were the best of the year. And then coming up after this video, hopefully next week, I will talk about all of my worst purchases of the year. I think you guys will be very, very shocked because as I'm looking at the stuff that I've picked, most of it is from a brand that I've said in the past that I don't even really like. So it is very shocking to me that these are the things that I think are the best out of the whole year. I'm going to try to go in chronological order. So let's start off with the beginning of the year. And like I was saying, the brand that I've bought like the most from and that I think are literally the MVPs of this year is Gucci. I know it's kind of shocking. I have just said in the past that I'm not like a huge Gucci fan, but I bought a lot of Gucci this year and a lot of the items that I bought from them have just been my absolute favorite, which is just so shocking to me. Actually, I don't even think that I picked any Chanel items for this video, which is just so shocking. Um, but yeah, this is my Gucci Marmont in the large size that I bought at the beginning of the year. I cannot believe how much use I've gotten out of this bag and how much I love, love, love it. I was so hesitant to buy it because I had already owned one in a smaller size and I just thought that, you know, this bag is really trendy and I really didn't think that I would love it as much as I did, but I bought it because I love the color so, so much. Turns out this is one of the best purchases I've ever made. It's just such a good bag. Like, I've probably talked about it on my channel a lot already, but it is so functional. It's a flap style bag, so it's very similar to like, you know, maybe a Chanel classic flap in terms of like functionality. But even then you really can't compare because it's just way more functional in my opinion. It's only got one flap. And then I think it's a combination of like how big this bag is in particular. And then maybe just like how malleable the bag is. I can literally fit everything that I want to in here um, for like a day to day. And this has actually been my like go-to bag when I want to bring something on vacation. I just find that this bag holds like more than what I need, which when I'm on vacation, I just, you know, try to plan for everything and really carry a lot with me. It's also really easy to use in the fact that you just pop it open and everything's right there. You don't have to deal with like a double flap or anything like that. And the way that I carry it, which is just the double strap is so, so comfortable. I can literally wear it all day, every single day, even fully stuffed and I don't feel the weight at all. Um, another thing is that I think it looks very like stylish, but also like classy at the same time. I know that people will argue with me on this point um, because of like the um, you know like chevron patterns and everything that it's got going on but I do believe that this does look very very classic so when I am going out on vacation or something it's easy to use during the day and it's the perfect bag for night as well so yeah I've just been using this thing so much which is just a total surprise to me so very very glad that I bought this bag and I do not have any regrets at all I also do think that even though you know it is kind of technically trendier um, for like the brand. I think that it's going to be around here for a long time. I mean, this bag has also already been around for a couple of years and it still looks great in my opinion. So if you were on the fence about this, especially in the large size, 
I would say definitely go for it. It's been such a great bag for me that I've used in 2021 and I definitely do think that I'm going to continue using it forever. All right, and the next purchase I have is actually technically not my own purchase. I um, got this from my mom for my birthday, but this is also Gucci. It's the Gucci Ace perforated sneakers and mine, oh, I'm sorry, it's super dirty, um, but mine is in the like pink colorway on the back. I think that they do have a couple of different colors, but I love how this one is pink and white. I've used these shoes so, so much, like during the summer and even the fall, like I just wore these the other day. They have literally been my go-to. They're so comfortable to wear. I can literally wear them all day, every day, and they just look so classy and great. I've had people ask about these, like even, you know, my friends who are not into luxury at all. They've asked me about these sneakers because they just look so crisp and clean. I honestly wasn't a fan of like luxury sneakers. I don't believe that you should be spending that much money on a pair of freaking white sneakers, but honestly, I take that all back for this pair. I do believe that this one is specifically worth it. Um, I don't know what it is. Like the leather, like you might think is like uncomfortable because it is so hard. I mean, I've had other luxury sneakers in the past where I think that's been the case, but with these ones, I don't know why they're just so extremely comfortable. Um, I also do think that you can wear these, you know, very casually, but I also think white sneakers are like, I don't know, there's just something about them where if you are in like a more, not formal setting, but um, I just think they look really classy with everything basically is what I'm trying to say. So if you are on the hunt for a pair of white sneakers that are super comfortable to wear that are luxury, please, please, please go check these out. These Gucci Ace sneakers come in a variety of different like styles as well. Of course, you've probably seen like the classic ones with the little um, like ribbon print right here, but I think the perforated ones are nice because it just looks very clean and nothing is on there. I mean, there is a logo, but it's very hard to see, especially from far away. I want to say that Gucci in general just makes like the best shoes. Like the loafers that I bought last year or two years ago i think those were like my mvp of the year that i bought them and definitely one of my best purchases i've ever ever made so gucci just knows what they're doing with shoes it's ridiculous all right next is surprisingly another pair of shoes i don't know what it is about this year but i bought these christian louboutin shoes um for my trip to vegas earlier this year in may and i have been loving these like no joke these are my most comfortable pairs of heels ever i want to bring them with me everywhere and they're already so dirty because i've worn them a lot and granted they are in a very light color but Ugh, I just love these shoes so, so much. I don't think that um, Louboutin shoes are very comfortable in general. I have had a couple of different pairs that I haven't been able to wear that I've just sold or returned, but these ones are seriously just, I could walk all day in them. Um, these are a size 37, which I normally wear like 36 and a half, but I found that the 37 was really comfortable. I've also bought these on multiple trips this year and they're like my go-to like formal shoes for when I'm going out. But the reason why I put these non-stick things in here is because I do feel like if I don't have them, my feet kind of like slip forward a little bit and that is kind of uncomfortable. But after I put these in, I can seriously walk in these all freaking day. I also did want to mention that I feel like they do come in different heights and this one is the one that's not like the tallest yeah so i just looked it up to um be sure but these are the 100 um millimeters instead of the i think they also come in 120 so i think that the fact that they are comfortable is due to you know the fact that it isn't like a crazy angle any of the shoes that are 120 millimeters i just think are so crazy i don't understand how people walk in those um but yeah i love these so much i was contemplating on getting them in different colors i do believe that they have like a nude one that i was looking at and possibly even like going for black because it's just a classic color i do also want to mention the fact that i did have to poke another hole in these just to make them a little bit tighter but yeah once i did poke an extra hole in it they were just the most comfortable shoe ever all right moving back to gucci the next purchase that i wanted to talk about is my gucci jacket bag. I was very, very surprised when I picked this out to be my best purchases because when I bought it, I was really, really afraid that it was just going to be a 
you know, trendy bag and that I wasn't going to get much use out of it. Oh boy, was I proven wrong. I get so much use out of this bag. I literally just wore it like two days ago. It's just so easy to grab. You can fit so many things in here. All of my stuff is actually still in here. Um, I will leave individual videos that I've done for all these bags down below as well in case you are interested in hearing more about them. Um, but long story short, I just find that this bag is super functional. You can carry a lot of stuff in here. It's the perfect color. I think it's the exact same color as my Gucci Marmont actually um, but yeah it just goes with everything I was also worried that this was only going to be a summer bag but I've been using it in like the fall and winter too and I think it looks really great there's just something about this shape that makes it so you know functional and I think it does look really classy even though this like shoulder bag style is more of like the 90s trend that's coming back but I don't know I think I'm still going to use it for years and years to come and I do think that it is a classic to Gucci. So many brands are doing this style bag but I honestly think that the Gucci one is just the best and the most classic. It did also come with like a longer strap but I've actually never used that strap before. I just find that it's the cutest when it is like the you know shoulder bag style but I also do like the fact that if you do want to try to use it as like a long shoulder bag or a crossbody bag Gucci does give you that option but yeah I feel like I've talked about this so many times on my channel but long story short this has definitely been one of the best purchases of the year another thing that I did want to mention that I love about Gucci is that um the two bags that I have that I mentioned in this video are so great like in terms of value for money they're not that crazy expensive especially when you compare it to other bags that I have in my collection from like Hermes and Chanel but I do feel like I've gotten so much use out of them that the cost per wear is practically nothing when you um, really consider how much I've been able to use these bags. It's so crazy. All right, and then the last bag that I wanted to talk about is actually a bag that I just unboxed on my channel, but it has been such a great bag and I'm so in love with it that I really had to include it in this video even if I haven't used it for very long and that is my Louis Vuitton Capucines bag. I was actually very very surprised how quickly I fell in love with the Capucines BB especially for how long I've wanted it and like put it off. I honestly only put it off for so long after having it on my wish list for a while because I hadn't found like the right bag for the price that I wanted to pay for it. In case you haven't watched that video, I will link it down for you below, but I did buy this one used off a of fashion file and got a couple thousand dollars off of it compared to what I would have paid if I had bought it full price at the store. So even though I've wanted it for a while, I had just put it off for so long, like adding it to my collection because I hadn't found the right one. When this one came along on fashion file, I just knew I had to have it. The color is perfect. And um, the style is just so unique and cute. So yeah, very, very glad I pulled the trigger on this one. Honestly, I've been using this bag so much ever since I got it. I'm actually bringing this to um, my trip to London with me as well because I just think it's so functional. You can fit so much inside of this bag. I mean, I would compare it to maybe like my Kelly bag or... Like it can fit as much as like all of the other bags that I like always rave on about. I definitely feel like this fits all of my essentials and slightly more, which is what I really need with me when I'm on a vacation. And I just think that this is such a classy looking bag. Like I really do think that it's comparable to the Kelly in terms of like, you know, how classic it looks. Obviously the Kelly is more classic, but the Kelly that I have in my collection is like a darker, brighter pink, so I don't really feel comfortable using it um, like during the winter when I have more of like a baby, like pastel kind of palette. I also did mention in the unboxing video how I didn't love this strap in terms of like how thick it was, but honestly, after using it um, a couple of different times, I found that this strap is actually very, very, very comfortable. So I really do like how um, it feels when it's on my shoulder. It just, it feels like you're carrying nothing, which is always great. But I've also been using this bag with a couple of different like thinner straps as well. I have like a gold chain that I've been using with it because um, it just looks really nice and a little bit more formal than if you have this like thicker chunky strap. So that is always an option for you if you are looking for an alternative to the strap that comes with it. I do believe that the like newer Capucines bag this season that's just come out does have like a dainty little chain strap like that as well so 
yeah, that just definitely looks great with it. So yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing how this is going to work out long term in my collection, but I do honestly just believe with how functional it is and how beautiful and classy it looks that this is really going to be um, one of my best purchases of all time. I definitely feel like I'm going to be using this bag forever and I'm just so glad I was finally able to add a Capucines BB into my collection. So yeah, what a strange video. I've literally talked about brands that I never talk about on my channel and it's just so surprising to me that Louis Vuitton and Gucci and even Christian Louboutin were the like best purchases for me of this year. It really does blow my mind that I didn't include any Chanel in this list. I think it's just because I bought so little from them this year and the pieces that I did bought like my Chanel mini square, I haven't actually really used that much. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what your best purchases of the year are and if you found any of the things that I've talked about surprising today. I will do, like I said, a worst purchases video coming up next, so please stay tuned for that. I think it's also really fun to talk about the, you know, purchases that I really didn't get along with, and this year, unfortunately, I do feel like I have quite a few of those. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye!